Good evening. I'm Rohan Shah. I welcome you all on Future Talk. Future Talk. Future is already here. Here. What was impossible yesterday is already here. And what was what is impossible today it will be here very shortly. The question is, are we ready? The, this is the unique platform. Future Talk is a unique platform where we discuss the future in the different industry from the experts and uncover the what opportunities are awaiting for us, us and what action we can take today, today to lead the best life tomorrow. It is it is the time. The time has already come. It is the time that uh, to unthink the way we do things and rethink everything what we do right. With that, today we will talk about the future of cinema. And for that, I would like to welcome our guest uh, for today, Mikhail, Mikhail Musale. Welcome, Mikhail. Welcome to the show. Uh, welcome to Future. Hi. It was, hi. It was truly a pleasure having you today. Uh, so let me uh, quickly introduce uh, him as well. So Mikhail is a Maharashtrian born and brought up in Ahmedabad, is among very few directors whose regional debut film, Wrong Side Raju, has won a national uh, award for the best Gujarati film. Mikhil was also a part of India's entry to Oscars in year 2017 as a jury member who selected Newton as an official entry. He was felicitated by, felicitated by President of India on 4th of May 2017 at Vigyan Bhavan at, uh, at Delhi and followed by our PM Narendra Modi on 5th of May. He was also acknowledged and felicitated felicitated by our Chief Minister of Gujarat, Shri Vijay Rupani, and also Shri Uddhav Thakre in Mumbai. He has also been a co-creative director and the co-founder of Production House, Cinnamon Production Limited, who has produced the game changer films in the Gujarati cinema, like Keviri the Jaish, Bayar from 2010 to 2016. He has also uh, an ad filmmaker and has directed more than 30 television commercials till now. His second film was his debut in the Bollywood with Made in China, starring Rajkumar Rao, Boman Irani, Moni Roy, Sumit Vyas, and Manoj Joshi. Manoj Joshi film is, was uh, being produced by Madoc Films and was released in Las Diwali 2019. Welcome, Mikhail. Welcome to Future Talk. It was indeed an absolute pleasure having you today on the show. Thank you, uh, so Rohan. Thank you, Kavindra. And thank you, Shikha. Uh, these are people I've been in touch now. So, yeah. <laughs> So thank you, thank you. So Mikhail, I want to start uh, by with talking about the regional films, regional films. And before we go towards the future, it is very essential and it is very important to understand the evolution. And I, if I talk about the Gujarati industry, then it has a very rich history, right? rich history starting from the first Gujarati talkie we talk about in Narsi Mehta in year 1932. The industry has flourished almost till 1980. Uh, but then there was a steep decline in the industry for a long time, for a long time, almost till 2015, uh, where the first industry has, where, where the first time the industry has reached actually 35 crores worth of business in the history of Gujarati cinema. And you did your debut during the very same time uh, with Wrong Side Raju. And not only that, you won the national award for the best Gujarati film. And to add to that, that Gujarati cinema has got the national award after probably 22 to 25 years. That was absolute incredible. You know, that was a huge, a huge win for the Gujarati cinema as well. So we would like to know about the journey and the challenge you faced pulling it through. How did you pull it through? And uh, what, what, just, just let us know your journey about that. That's too much of good words I've, I think, so heard since long time. <laughs> uh, definitely quite encouraging. And uh, uh, before starting, lovely room, by the way, uh, wherever you are being right now. Yeah. Roma, I'm, I'm telling it to you. Yeah. yeah. Lovely, <laughs> lovely, you. House. <laughs> lovely place. Lovely place. So, uh, uh, again, I'll address to your question before I address in holistically. Uh, talking f about the future of cinema, uh, be, being an individual, being a film director is a very, very small part of it. And uh, of course, whatever I am trying to express my opinions uh, about the industry are, pers I, are my personal opinions. And uh, from, uh, from, from a very small position of, uh, or, uh, of the industry, uh, I've been trying to be part of. So uh, 
coming to our question on regional film industry especially if you talk about gujarati film industry uh, that's where our career began and uh, uh, i think so it was 2010 and uh, during my engineering days after my completed engineering uh, again the dilemma of choosing uh, to do what you're good at and uh, i went to bombay and i was again trying to do things uh, when we realized the fact that i want to get into films and uh, nothing much was working on our side so uh, i came back and i met a gentleman uh, most of the people here might know about him also uh, he's been part of my journey uh, abhishek jain and uh, we both uh, started the company together and we thought uh, we were doing small ad films and uh, that was back in 2010 when uh, films were not so familiar to gujarat per se i mean compared to the other regional film industry and uh, so we were trying to figure it out how do we do things here how do we place things here and uh, it was his idea to uh, make gujarati film and uh, only speaking uh, though we have a history of gujarati films and uh, we have a rich history of especially gujarati theater culture and gujarati films absolutely it sounded absolutely. like a stupid idea that uh, to do a gujarati film and uh, i think so his idea of uh, uh, doing a gujarati film probably in a modern setup in a setup which people had not seen before uh, that more or less work like a blue ocean strategy where you're trying to swim around uh, yourself you're trying to swim around something which is like uh, which is like a vast uh, a pool of opportunity but at the end you're alone there and uh, so uh, there are only two things that can happen you either get drowned or you survive so i believe uh, i believe to uh, accept that uh, maybe we survived and this is the reason we could make films uh, like kavri vijayesh and bhar on the in those on those times and uh, it probably helped to revive the way uh, people wanted to see those kind of films in theaters where uh, people like you and me uh, people around us you know who were probably not watching and surprisingly me and abhishek we both are uh, non gujaratis i am maharashtrian he was a mahavati so uh, uh, again it was a tough task of understanding the language and uh, probably making films uh, that was much more uh, palpable for people uh, it was entertaining and it it was probably accepted the way uh, they liked it so hence the journey continued and in 2016 after bear and kirdesh i could uh, debut my own film uh, wrong side radu as a director and uh, again that film has a different uh, challenges at that time there were two films were already there so the idea was not just to make a good film but idea was to make a better film but also a different film and uh, so we tried on a subject uh, which was like a genre which was of thriller genre and uh, multiple characters and again uh, a film based on a real incident so it had its own challenges in terms of acceptance uh, we weren't sure that how people would react to it uh, because uh, probably only drama or comedy films were made till that time so all these three films i think so it came with own its own set of challenges and uh, uh all of them were received a uh, uh, few of them on box office level few critically uh, uh, uh the way we wished and uh, with wrong side uh, uh, more or less uh, uh, after the challenges i think so after year uh, we got to know that we also got a national award it was probably after two decades that a uh, best gujarati film in a national award was been received by a gujarati maker um, there were films before where we had got but uh, they were not gujaratis like good road was by gayan kori who was not a gujarati i consider myself to be gujarati so so uh, that that really helped and then uh, uh, i think so it just helps you to give and it give you some encouragement and power to do the kind of films and cinema you wish so uh, it's been so far so good let's see perfect perfect so great great so also i i want to ask like today gujarati movies were has still very restricted audience right uh, it was successful at certain extent recently uh, to attract lots of urban crowd but still there is a huge uh, gap if we especially compared with the other regional industries like uh, south or uh, even maharashtra you know they have a very uh, still they have a very strong crowd uh, and uh, if we talk about the gujarati theaters or play still have quite a big elite urban crowd but the same crowd we are not able to pull it in the film side 
So how do we market this and how do we actually attract this larger audience and what are the trends that you see uh, that Gujarati cinema should have? Uh, if you consider 2020 as the end of the decade, uh, considering Corona now, I do consider it as the end of the decade because there's nothing probably uh, yeah. left yeah. in 2020, I feel so. So uh, uh, it has been a pretty mix of uh, uh, good things and a mix of uh, not so good things also uh, with Gujarati cinema. I mean, of course, uh, there have been films which have made a lot of money, which has reached uh, theatres, which have made uh, people to reach the theatres. And uh, so definitely there is some moment happening there. Uh, considering uh, films like Hillaro and Chal, Chal Ji Bili. Hillaro again uh, won the best national award, uh, best film national award. So that yeah. was again a huge achievement. <laughs> Chal Ji Bili again is a film which uh, made a lot of money and was uh, it reached out to a lot of people. So I would say that uh, there are definitely some very uh, uh, good parts where uh, uh, people have now started watching films not just at theatre but even on digital or at home, uh, people are talking about it. Uh, we have good actors, we have stars, uh, we have uh, media and newspaper covering about it. So uh, all the ingredients which helps to make a, a regional industry survive, be it Malayali or be it, uh, but we've got to understand the fact that we are probably also quite new here. I mean, we are probably uh, on a very intense stage of the industry we've been talking about, about Bengali, or because I, again, interact with a lot of producers and makers from other industries. So be it Malayali or Bengali or Telugu, uh, they, they, they have been producing and making films since years. Uh, of course, we also have been, but the kind of films which probably people, the urban, the so-called urban audience wants to uh, see and watch have uh, been started probably from 2011 or 2012. So uh, we've got an in, incense stage right right now. So uh, it's going to take time. It's going it, to... Uh, take out the sweet time of uh, making our own mistakes, making our share of great films, making our share of Diyako films. So uh, there is a lot of ray of hope that uh, probably in the coming years that uh, we might uh, want to, we might have uh, equally good number of films and uh, uh, which are of course entertaining and also critically uh, acclaimed. Uh, so uh, I think so. It's been a struggling ride uh, here with a mix of uh, everything, and the struggle is not just on uh, on the, the part of probably not getting funding. It's about the struggle of uh, being able to make great scripts, uh, sensible filmmakers, the music, the marketing part, and uh, probably everything. Which uh, it's like a cascade where everything probably has to fall in place. Even one uh, wrong card, even wrong, it, it, it has a dominant effect of probably spoiling the entire castle. So uh, it's not even easy to build a Gujarati film. Uh, it's not about just probably writing, getting a right script or probably just uh, uh, making a, a great content or a good film. Uh, everything probably has to fall in place and uh, it's a pretty long process. And uh, yeah. so of course we will need a lot of uh, good producers, good filmmakers, good writers, especially uh, writing being the main component of uh, not just Gujarati, but even everything we see around. So uh, it's, uh, it's a ride, it's a tough ride, but I think so we are fighting and we are there. Uh, and I'm quite hopeful that uh, we'll reach there uh, someday oh, in a very strong way. Sure, sure, absolutely. So now, since since you mentioned about the script and uh, the good scripts, as well as the uh, you we, we talked about, uh, we touch upon the you mentioned Hilaro. So, do you think that Gujarati film or Gujarati cinema, or say even the Gujarati crowd, is ready for such content-based movie, or we are still at the stage where the commercially commercial films, which are more preferable for the critical mass success for the industry. Uh, uh, because Hilaro, Hilaro was a beautiful film. I watched it and it was, I loved it. But still, the crowd which they pulled and uh, uh, and the commercially pulled, I, 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 there is a huge gap again. So, do you think we are ready for that? Uh, see, um, I feel the audience is always ready for uh, any kind of film uh, because the same audience who watches <laughs> Hilaro is the same audience who watches uh, web series, is the same audience who watches the Hollywood films. So uh, the audience doesn't change. Uh, it is, it's 
only what you promise them and what you're giving them uh, regional films per se or hindi films or web series if you compare they have its own their charm uh, regional films has its own charm of uh, the language and the culture and the colloquialism uh, a netflix web series works on a different way where right now we have been accessible to probably the most uh, exotic and uh, uh, the most universal content like a, a web like money heist which is based out of switzerland is doing so well and uh, uh, and we all have probably it has access to anything and everything so uh, script is an integral part of anything you do especially uh, we have realized now and the producers started realizing now that uh, uh, you can't get away making uh, we can you can't get away through a, a mediocre script i mean you can't you definitely can't make a good film with a bad script uh, so <laughs> the otherwise the, the uh, likewise is possible but uh, you can't get through so uh, it is an integral part and i do believe that the audience is accepted uh, is accepting to any genre i mean uh, we have proved that in uh, before like a film like hellaro probably set in 1975 about 11 women uh, and uh, it is about uh, it it talks about a small subject and uh, it has a huge impact and uh, so uh, i think so it's the conviction of the makers uh, the strong writing and uh, how convinced you are and, and and the making process which matters uh, the audience is the same uh, it has it has received uh, uh, all the good films with great love and it has also got disappointed uh, badly with bad films and that's also a problem that uh, uh, which is really sad is uh, with one good film you definitely go two steps ahead in uh, with the trust of the audience but you also uh, go four steps backwards with the bad film so yeah. uh, it's yeah. a tricky situation there where uh, uh, we have to instill the trust of the audience especially for gujarati films to uh, make them believe make them have faith about it and uh, so to uh, to catch hold of them uh, the same is with the hindi uh, uh, and other web series and web content also but uh, it's the same ratio where uh, one good film after of 10 films is there but uh, maybe we should make sure that the ratio uh, doesn't elongate a lot and uh, it's a correct ratio where uh, we keep producing a good number of films in intervals in good intervals because uh, even i understand it's impossible to create all the films uh, with the same amount of expectation and the reception but at least right. films with uh, good films with decent intervals you know yeah. so uh, that can help sure 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 and also you mentioned about the the budget uh, budget so now now let's talk a little bit about from the business perspective right uh, from the monetary value in this like if you look at the uh, do the films or the industry itself do we have especially in the gujarati uh, cinema do we have enough budgets or funds to scale uh on 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 which we we are plan or we aspire to be or do you think there is a huge area of an opportunity for the investment for the people also being into the uh producing part of it so i've been i've i've been told that this group has a lot of uh, uh, potential investors and this uh, probably <laughs> uh, 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 members from lot of business families so uh so uh, so it's 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 tricky where uh, the budgeting of a gujarati film uh, uh, if talk about numbers it can uh, go from 1 cr to 5 cr uh, all depending on the kind of film which we are intending to make uh, what happens is that uh, uh, it all depends and boils down on the conviction of the director and the producer of the kind of project you are trying to build because especially what's different from gujarati film to hindi film is the recovery part where uh, the primary component is the is the theatrical then we have satellite digital and the music rights and other things so here the problem is that the theatrical uh, the ratio of the producer versus exhibition uh, in regionals it becomes really tricky after the second and third week so and secondly uh, product the satellite rights is not that Uh, that's not that great or that number which you would expect from other industries or other forms and uh, digital is still coming up but maybe uh, it all depends on the criteria and uh, they hardly any music rights also uh, uh, 
there are not any fixed ways of marketing a film apart from the the print and the digital and uh, like we still don't have music uh, stations playing uh, gujarati songs on their stations few of them have started but not all of them so uh, there's always a struggle to uh, market a gujarati film and hence you could see all the successful films had uh, come up with a very different dif different and innovative plans of marketing because there is no fixed formula per se uh, as far as in hindi and hindi films uh, more or less it's a it's a fixed formula there is a pna there is a publicity and ad uh, advertising budget uh, to a film and there are fixed ways of marketing a budget and maybe few songs here and there can uh, still uh, uh, keep you uh, steady but in gujarati uh, uh it's little more complicated where you'll have to find much more innovative ways like for example there was a film uh, called karsan das pn news and it was yeah. a beautiful film and um, it was set a beautiful love story set on the backdrop of a public toilet and so had they had they had a strategy of putting posters of the film across all the toilets of the theatricals in theaters in gujarat So it was a innovative way of uh, marketing. So uh, makers have tried those ways, and it has worked at some places. It has not worked. But uh, investing in Gujarati films per se uh, has to come probably with a lot of experience, knowledge, skill, and innovation. Uh, it's not something that you would put the money and uh, you fade away, and probably it will uh, uh, it will repay you the way you wish. Uh, it's not that simple. It's much more complicated. Hence. most of the investors who have invested without uh, any prior knowledge and experience has yeah. i have we have got that they have burned their hands and there are also people who have been successful who have come with uh, a detailed knowledge and insight and with a plan so uh, so my message to the investors is it's it's a great space to invest but uh, probably with uh, better insights better knowledge and uh, better preparation would help sure Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very helpful because, um, yeah. So you also mentioned about the digital media, the digital films and the web series you were mentioning earlier. So now I want to I want to shift to that uh, area a little. So we can see that increasing trends of these web series is and on all the social medias and and such digital mediums, right? In fact, especially during this lockdown period, they are the biggest friend. and a support for for a lot of a uh, lot of people so do, uh, and so do you think that it it's going to take over the mainstream uh, film industry in 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 a maybe not even a, a shorter but a little bit a longer a longer future so as i said that uh, i'll come in from what a little capacity i uh, i uh, i belong to so i started with gujarati i did a hindi film that was again uh, the process of making films is very similar but a very different experience of uh, dealing with uh, actors uh, who probably are uh, much more popular and it works in different way so right now of course the idea is to make films and be able to uh, be part of all the forms if in fact i would love to make a marathi film also because i'm a maharashtrian and uh, of course the idea is to also pour into uh, web series and uh, it's a space which is probably not that old so uh, all the makers and the producers i think so we are still trying to understand this space how uh, how it works how reciprocity it is uh, even the long format uh, uh, episodic web series or beat mini series or the uh, the netflix originals so uh, i feel every form of uh, films or cinema is going to coexist it's not that the otts are going to replace uh, this is all temporarily we are talking because we all are probably very scared of the situation right now where we don't know uh, when are the theaters going to open back and when is the film shootings probably going to resume back so uh, it's a tough situation uh, especially the entertainment industry and also uh, the, the ones who do events because uh, technically speaking as human kind we belong to the lowest lowest strata of the ecosystem so uh, in fact we are going to be the last one to resume back and go back to our jobs uh, most of them being uh, uh, freelancers uh, so it's a tough situation but uh, yeah. it, it it's going to be a, a coexistence uh, in the coming future where uh, you know, uh, for probably big event films or big films or entertaining films people will definitely go go to theaters and uh, it's not going to be skippable at all it that is a, a sort of in, entertainment which we have been consuming since years and years we have 100 years of cinema right now but sure, of course yeah. the ott are going to 
have rise, especially in these times, uh, with Hotstar, Amazon, Netflix, and other platforms where uh, they are going to be much more aggressive. We will start consuming more uh, content. There's going to be more penetration in the coming years, not just with the ones who ha have access to good internet and are privileged, but even from B and C to your city. Uh, subscriptions levels are definitely going to go high. If you see the reports, it, uh, uh, India as a country probably it's it's, it's and it's an open uh, space where uh, with the population of 1.3 CR uh, uh, crore, uh, we hardly have any subscriptions as of now. If you see the reports, so uh, it's definitely going to go high and high and high, and uh, it's going to coexist. And uh, in all these space of coexistence, of course, there is regional film industry which also has to survive. So. Uh, they all are different games. They work with different set of rules, and it has. Uh, they all. They all have different charms. So, uh, I am someone who's trying to foray also into web series now, very very soon. So, uh, it's quite amazing that how the charm and how the functioning of the digital industry is so different of from a Hindi industry, from a commercial industry. Uh, especially, my film was released during Diwali, so I knew uh, how. Uh, the dynamics were of probably multi-release uh, of a film and uh, it has it comes with a very different set of challenges and uh, especially web series which is much more free in terms of the content and uh, it is much more independent it's much more uh, freedom based and uh, there's a different charm of a long format storytelling uh, it's more character driven and uh, so uh, it's it's a fun time, especially for writers and filmmakers, where uh, there are a lot of opportunities. A uh, uh, lot of writers and a lot of new writers are coming uh, because there are so many forms and there are, there are so many platforms that uh, I think as a creative person, if you're really good, uh, it's tough to get home now. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot to explore. There's a lot to, uh, there's a lot to uh, be part of uh, if you have patience and you have that perseverance. I yeah, 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 yeah. So now that that uh, from the, from the creativity you mentioned about the creative, uh, creative, and especially the lockdown and the new ways. So, uh, if I want to talk about the immediate future, right? Uh, so it's uh, this lockdown has taught of a lot of different things actually, and really pushed everyone to find a new ways to be relevant in their their own business, their own own area. Now, if you talk about the films, there are lots of unknowns today. We Nobody knows when things will get normal, when theaters will open and when the shooting will get resumed, as you mentioned. So it, it's very unclear. And so, however, do you see that uh, the new ways or innovative ways of uh, are emerging in the in the in this space, uh, especially surrounding these unknowns? People are talking new ways, ki, ki, you know, how do we do this? How do we do this? And some new ideas pop up and these emerging ways. So, Rohan, uh, irrespective of uh, whatever whosoever is watching today and whatever yeah. we belong to, in whatever field we work, uh, it's definitely going to be a tough time now because we yeah. don't know how long it's going to go. Uh, especially if people from entertainment industry, uh, even tough because, uh, uh, as I said, that we belong to the lowest uh, in the strata of uh, uh, in the ecosystem so not just economically uh, people are going to be hit but even uh, spiritually and the way people think about life i i do very strongly feel that uh, it is definitely going to change a lot the way we used to be before uh, so i think how and edv goes i think so it's gonna be uh, uh, like an after corona era where uh, we will have to innovate, we'll have to change a lot of things around us because it's at the end it is a game of survival and in whatever capacity uh, uh, we were doing and trying to impact things, uh, we will have to innovate those things and in those resources and uh, in those literary resources, we will have to survive ourselves and we will have to probably get back to the game. It's not going to be, uh, not, not going to be an easy ride, it's going to be a tough ride. And this I'm saying across every industry, I'm saying even from essential yeah. to non-essential to industrial, to everything. Absolutely. So, uh, uh, and if talking about your question, innovation in uh, web filmmaking. So I think so OTT is one platform where the innovation is already taking place, where uh, all the kind of films which people what uh, people which people want to see the long format uh, web series or the the Netflix originals. I think so. They are the ones who's going to bounce back uh, 
the first big on television what a innovation there sure i i hope i'm not breaking up yeah you just broke up uh, can you can you repeat the last last few sentences actually uh, we missed it we missed that this option going yeah so there is a lot of uh, where they don't have a pressure to release their content on television or theaters which we can directly come on the digital so uh, i feel uh, they are the ones who's going to benefit the most in terms of the subscription base uh, the overall uh, penetration of the sub subscribers and acceptance and also probably uh, creating more content as soon as Uh, there is a situation that comes where we would be allowed shooting which honestly i don't see it coming soon uh, there are a lot of rumors and theories that we might start from july august i think they all are theories nobody yeah. no yeah. can judge that what's going to happen uh, next okay. so uh, let's accept the reality and uh, work towards something probably which is more of a i would say uh, creating stuff and creating content internally and creating content not not just for the creative fields from writers filmmakers or but probably for everyone you know uh, of trying to bring some uh, innovation uh, to function back or probably to give back or probably to create an impact because that's that's only thing which is in our hands except that is nothing much which is, which is in our hands yeah true 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 and 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 if you forget about the short term period right even before like two months before you were you may be talking about a lot of innovations and a lot of future you, and when we never when we we didn't even know about uh, this uh, this corona pandemic is going to coming so if you talk about this long term future about uh, what uh, because you are an emerging uh, director and you have probably just started your career in last 5 6 or uh, 6 years now um, in the in the film industry and just debuted in a bollywood what what are the trends you see and, uh, and for the long term and what is the future of uh, you believe that uh, the bollywood has and because i'm 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 sure you also have a lot of aspirations in terms of uh that and a lot of plans so so i want to talk about the long term future rather than the short term immediate because i know it will pass on yes there will be a year or two and there will be a lot of innovation but still it will pass up it will pass it uh, pass uh, so so ron you know uh when we discuss the, about these things i am always much more curious to comment uh, about regional film industry because that's much more closer to me to my heart that's where i belong sure, to sure 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 i i i talk about in different i'm going to i'll comment on that also yeah. so uh, regional is uh, like my my, my home uh, playground where you know how when a player comes back to his home town he is uh, is he goes on to play it's that kind of feeling uh, where i definitely want gujarati industry uh, to be much more richer in terms of content i want uh, much more filmmakers to come and so i do believe that uh, the best of the cinema uh, which has come in other industries also be it marathi or be it films like sairat or bahubali uh, they are probably the most uh, honest and original and fearless voices uh, if you talk about sairat again it is from maker uh, like nagaraj manjule coming from a small town in uh, in maharashtra i do believe that the best films uh, which probably are going to come and probably which would reach out to the maximum people are going to the come uh, are going to be from those who are connected to the uh, to uh, to the culture and the core culture of our of our state of uh, our, our our b towns and c towns of our motherland and probably who knows which, uh, uh, in probably the most original and honest way as you said that vision sure. industry is about sure. original voice and the colloquialism and uh, how real you could get what i'm trying to say is that uh, maybe we would have our uh, uh, shares of films like bahubali's or uh, sairat or these kind of films we already have but much more and uh, so i want these voices to be to, to come from probably those filmmakers who uh, themselves have the uh, voice inside them and not the one who trying to inherit uh, like us who are basically born and brought up in uh, 80 year cities so uh, that would be much more interesting uh, secondly uh, talking about uh, theatrical uh, i think uh, it's going to take lot of time uh, 
when the theaters begin but i think so uh, that has been the major source of entertainment for the audience since years and decades uh, yeah. i i feel we are going to go back to theaters we again going to start watching uh, those entertaining films and uh, a theatrical experience is something which is unskippable uh, it will definitely it will never go completely uh, obviously there are going to be the dynamics will change the ott probably there would be certain kind of films which was were released on theater come would probably directly come on ott maybe those smaller films uh, but the bigger films the event films the entertaining films the big star films uh, are definitely going to be there on theatrical and uh, the other films so ott is something where i see a lot of change there where uh, a lot of uh, experimentation in terms of storytelling also the kind of content we consume is going to happen in ott because there's much more freedom in terms of language characters and the genres there uh, with uh, most of the content which we have loved up till now talking about india uh, beat family man or sacred games or a daily crime probably these stories were probably would not have been possible to uh, uh, to tell them in form of theatrical but because of ott uh, it is quite possible in fact me and my writers my team of writers we have been exploring a lot of subjects which we thought we could have couldn't have made through uh, probably without a big star uh, in a theatrical main form so uh, ott is something which uh, a lot of people in fact have uh, are doing only uh, i know a lot of writers and directors who are not only looking for ott because they in love they in so much love with the way the format allows you to tell the story uh, in the most uh, uh, in probably the most uh, i would i'd say powerful in the most fearless form so uh, so it is going to be a good level of echo existence uh, in every form and uh, it's i'm also quite curious that how are things going to be post corona so and that is something i don't think so anyone can predict beat four months yeah, yeah. six months or eight months how it's going to yeah. absolutely 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 so so great now and now before before we actually open up uh, for a few questions uh, we can take it from the uh, from the audience but uh, before before i open uh, take few questions we have a lot of questions that we have to uh, narrow down we can select a uh, few whatever it, uh, uh, but i want to talk about a little bit your uh, personal side of it that what are your future plan in terms of uh, what type of films you wish to do in the future and uh, any upcoming uh, films that you may be working on or you if you can tell uh, our audience about that so uh, uh, of course the idea is uh, to explore in any form a uh, beat gujarati films hindi films or ott uh, ott is something which is attracting me right now and we are on a developing on a stage where uh, i can't declare it but then uh, there is something which might happen on that front very soon uh, probably in 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 that in the way which we want it so that is one thing which i really want to explore uh, and uh, oh, i am more fond of uh, subjects which are more reality based real issue based and uh, that has been my liking but i like to watch all kind of content in my since years i have been watching films uh, uh, i watch at least one film a year uh, one film a day and uh, from korean cinema to international cinema to regional cinema i have been consuming content and uh, uh, and i'm a film buff uh, across every platform every language and every film so especially wow. in lockdown i had managed to see probably those kind of films which uh, i probably wouldn't have got a chance to see so uh, yeah. Yeah. so i i am uh, definitely uh, we want to make films about subjects and it's about issues which which touch me uh, personally i do believe that a uh, lot of people ask that uh, why don't we just make films which people love but uh, there is no tangible way of uh, knowing what people will love so while creating as writers or directors the only way uh, to gauge is that if i like it and if i have conviction in it maybe there is more there are more chances that even people would love it because uh, there is no way to judge that how this film is going to uh, fare uh, at the end so the only way to gauge is how excited i am uh, telling this story how much uh, this particular subject or the characters excite me so that's how we gauge our subjects and there's there's a team of writers who work with me so uh, uh and the 
basis of selecting subject and the basis of selecting films is 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 the world is the characters in the subject and what the film is trying to say uh, nothing more than that and uh, it's the decision is more or less uh, it's like a first love kind of a thing where when you hear it or when you know that this is what you want to get into that probably it may take years to develop that like a film like parasite which i had seen probably 6 months before it actually got oscars and uh, i am wow. was so much in love with that uh, film uh, the the film what it was trying to say and the way it was trying to say about uh, about class inequality and the way the and, and in fact not just parasite in fact bong jong's all those films from memories of murders to okja i am a big fan of that director so uh, so it uh, each of its filmmaker uh, uh, based on the kind of subjects which uh, you have conviction which you like uh, Uh, you try to want to make those kind kind of films and create an impact. So uh, for me, definitely films which are based on real based stories, real stories, and a thriller, it is uh, my two go genre, and uh, I would love to explore in that space. Perfect. That's uh, great, Mikhail. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, maybe we can, uh, if you can, I, I'm not sure if you can able to see the question answer on your screen. Then maybe we can take few questions. We have a lot of questions from a lot of different people. So, uh, so I'll take those questions very quickly. Uh, yeah. There's one question from Ala, which says that uh, about working with Pratik Gandhi and Sachin Jigar, was it easy and hard? So yeah, uh, with Sachin Jigar, I worked twice with uh, Wrong Side Raju and uh, Made in China, Pratik once. So I think. They're quite lovely people, yeah. Uh, very humble, very hardworking, and very talented. So uh, pretty easy now because they are all great friends now. Because uh, it's something when you all start together on something, uh, those people they that into out of be much more special to you than others. Even probably would have happened with you also, Rohan. That uh, in whatever industry you've been pouring to, the people who started with you with your initial years are probably they are much more closer and they're much more special. So absolutely, uh, yeah, absolutely. And they are very special to us. Uh, Ankur asked. Um, there's a question from Ankur which says that since production is on pause, how are you best utilizing this lockdown time? Are you writing the new material and working? Yes, in fact, I uh, I'm much more busier than usually I am because we have a pool of writers and uh, since this new video calling feature, which is of course there, but as they say that uh, necessity is the mother of invention, and with this lockdown, we have realized the fact that how effective, innovative we could be. Over video calls, and the work can still uh, be on uh, without an interruption, and you can do everything which uh, probably more or less everything which we were doing before. So writing is happening. There's a lot of writing happening. There is a lot of new collaboration is happening, and uh, uh, this is the best time probably also to go back to the classics, the books which I would all, all always wanted to read but I couldn't. so i'm utilizing and taking this time in most positive stride as much as possible and it has been helping me a lot uh, and i've been trying to explore in the best possible way so to all the content creators i would say that uh, if probably if you're a writer and not been able to create one good script in such a long time then uh, you're going to regret yourself later so you probably take the best uh, to utilize this time there's one question from sanjay pandey it says that if i'm not wrong some if the mainstream films are looking at ott release yes so a uh, lot of theatrical films you might be coming on ott uh, and it is only be going to the question of the uh, of uh, it's a logistical dynamic game where uh, if the producer sees that it's, it's viable to release directly on ott they're going to go ahead but probably the the bigger films the bigger stars and uh, the bigger entertainers they may not afford to come directly on ott and they would have to wait for the theatrical uh, for the recovery so it's a complete logistical game uh, samrada says that there is some network issue yes there was and i hope uh, you like the session uh this one land question what was the budget at which you made gujarati films i think so uh, budget uh, uh, goes from 1 cr to 5 cr as per the uh, as per the kind of film which you trying to make so uh, budget is not an issue what is the preferred flavor of gujarati movie watchers in general uh, i think they are quite the kind of films which we have done well i mean uh, from chal jibi liye to kuchu bhai series to karsandas pn news chillo divas wrong side raju uh, bhai these are few films which have done well i think so the audience has been quite accepting uh, 
in all the subjects and genres as long as it is engaging it is intriguing and uh, it has something to give back to the audience in terms of flavor and the language so uh, audiences love everything as long as uh, it has to have engagement either through entertainment humor or uh, through uh, something which you have which as a maker you have to give back to the society so yeah i think so I've more or less covered uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, we, covered someone says have you done any have you done any bhojpuri film or do you have any idea that what will the future of bhojpuri industry well i think so uh, samridhar can answer this question quite well <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, uh, all right perfect so thank you thank you very much mikhil uh, mikhil for uh, uh, for sparing time and talking to us about uh, about it was it was a very new subject for uh, almost all of us and there was a lot of good insight we have got because, uh, because so thank you thank you very much for your time and it was it was absolute pleasure having you so and thank such amazing topics and experts in the different industries uh, to talk about the future in the in the different area so please uh, for all the updates and upcoming talks you can follow us on our instagram page uh, future talk officials and um, Thank you thank you very much and I will see you next time thank you thank you Mikhail it was again a uh, pleasure having you today thank you